Hello friends, welcome to SS Unitech. My name is Sushil Singh and this is SQL Server Interview Quiz Part 5 Test Yourself. So here we have 15 questions and each question has 4 options and you will get 30 seconds to select the correct option. Before going forward, if you haven't watched Part 10 of SQL Server Interview Questions and Answers video series and Part 4 of this video series. So I would strongly recommend to watch these videos because these questions are based on these videos. Let's start with our first question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option B is true because when we used where condition with our cross join then it will act as an inner join. So option B is true. Let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option C is true. So here it will pick first row ID column value from our left table and try to compare with our right table ID column. If value will be matched then that row will be moved to our result set. Otherwise that row will be skipped. So here for ID 1 and 2 we will get 4 rows for each and again null value will not be participated on joins as we have discussed in our last video. So it will return 4 rows for ID 1 and 4 rows for ID 2. So total row return will be 8. So option C is true. So let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option C is true. Again it will pick first row ID column from our left table and try to compare with our right table ID column. So here we are using not equals to. So if value will not be matched then it will move to our result set otherwise that row will be skipped. So for ID 1 we will get 2 rows. For ID 2 and 3 again we will get 2 rows. And as we have discussed null value will not be participated on joins. So total rows will be written 6. So option C is true. Let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option C is true. Again it will pick first row ID column value from our left table and try to compare with our right table ID columns. For ID 1 it will return 4 rows and for ID 2 again it will return 4 rows. And we will get one more row with null value. So as we have discussed we are going to use inside the aggregate function. So null value will be skipped. So total rows will be written 8. So option C is true. Let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now.
so time up option c is true again it will pick first row from our left table and try to compare with our right table for id 1 it will return 4 rows for id 2 it will again return 4 rows and two null values will be present in id column as we are using full join so one row will be written from our left table and one row will be written from our right table as two null values are not treated as a single value so here again we are going to use inside this aggregate function so null value will be skipped and total row will be written 8 so option c is true let's move to another question this is your question and your time starts now So time up. Option C is true. As we have discussed in our fourth question, for ID 1 it will return 2 rows and again for ID 2 and 3 it will return 2 rows each. So total rows will be written 6 and 1 row will be written with null value as we are using left join over here. So we are getting 7 rows. So option C is true. Let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up option B is true. So here we want to apply filter on ID column with null value and we are going to apply count on that column. So as we have discussed null value will be skipped while using inside the aggregate function. So option B is true. So let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option C is true. So here we are getting 16 rows from our first cross join. 4 null values and 12 not null values. And from again our second cross join it will return 64 rows. So here we will get 48 rows which is not null. 16 rows with our null value. So we are going to use inside this aggregate function. So null value will be skipped. So we will get 48. So option C is true. Let's move to another question. So this is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option D is true. While using intersect and accept operator, two null values are treated as a single value. So let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up. 
option C is true. So in this case, ID 2 will be removed from our table A and it will return only two rows. Null value will be skipped. Let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option A is true. While using NOT in operator, we need to take care because if any null value is present inside the inner query, then outer query will not going to return any output. So let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option B is true. It will return only these rows which are not null from our inner query. So it will return only one row which ID is 2. So option B is true. Let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option D is true. As we cannot use alias name with our star operator while using inside the aggregate functions. So let's move to another question. This is your question and your time starts now. So time up. Option C is true. It will return only two rows which ID is 1 because null value will not return while using subqueries. So let's move to another question and this is your last question. So your time starts now. So time up. Option A is true. By using except operator, we will get three rows with ID 1, 3 and null. So output will be 3. So I hope you have enjoyed this quiz. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. And don't forget to drop your scores on comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video.